Caution, don't keep these five items under your bed. It brings bad luck, bad energy, bad dream, and blocks your manifestation. Remove these five items under your bed because it brings poverty, stagnation, restlessness, and above all, blocks manifestation. By God's grace, in today's video, I wish to share with you part two of the video I have started about five items that should not be found under your bed. And if only you follow me to the end of today's video, I'll give you another set of five items that you must remove under your bed if it is there so that you will always manifest because we are meant to manifest what we need. We are not meant to trouble God. We are creative being. We are mortal God on earth. The same God that created human beings breathed his energy in us for us to continue creation thereby making us a mortal God who have the capacity to bring whatever we want into manifestation. But the truth is that we will not be able to do that without God's cooperation. It is a cooperation of divine energy, our divine warriors, guardian angel, the Holy Spirit, Almighty God Himself and the entire universe, and you understand that it's actually our subconscious that bring into reality, into consciousness what we want, and this subconscious actually work perfectly and powerfully whenever we are sleeping. And now there are certain items that will be under our bed when we are sleeping. It will block manifestation. It will bring bad energy and that bad energy will not allow us to walk through the positive energy that will help us to bring riches, wealth, favor, love, connection and good things of life that we ever desire and deserve. Therefore, for us to not to use our hands to cause hindrances and obstacles to ourselves, it is very, very important that we remove these five items quickly from under our bed. If only you follow me to the end of today's video, I will give you the, those five items. But before then, please give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube algorithm will shift it to other people that need it. As you do so, may God bless you. So welcome once again to Jenny Action TV in this particular channel. I discuss three important variables which are actually health, safety, and spirituality. Believe me, if you can understand and apply these three correctly in your life, the sky will not be your limit. It becomes your starting point. If this is the very first time you're landing in this channel, you're highly welcome. Please do it to hit the red subscribe button and the bell notification so that YouTube will always notify you once I upload a new video. For my returning subscribers, I love you so much. Thank you for always stopping by. For my new time, as you're searching for any video, all you need to do is go through the search button in YouTube, type Jenny Action. TV is like the keyword of the video you are looking for. For example, example, bed. You get the past videos I made about the things that should not be under your bed. You wash and get some value. So with that, actually, we're staying your time. Let's delve right in. Now, the first item that should never find its way under your bed is shoes. You know, we are tempted to when we come back, we just sling our shoes under our bed. But believe me, shoes carry negative energies in the sense that. It is a kind of something you put under your feet, under your feet, and use it to go to different places where a lot of energies have been contacted and mixed. And one way or the other, shoe carry deposit of dust and deposit of death. And then when you come back and slide it and, and fling it under your bed in the name of storing it there, you are packing deposit of negative energies you have gathered different places you have gone and leaving it under your bed and one way or the other it goes a long way to have overwhelming influence over you and even if it is a new shoe even if it is a kind of shoe that you have cleaned that is neat storing it under the bed is still not the best because actually the holes in that shoe where you slide your leg is like a draining force that drains finances, drains idea, and drains positive energy. So shoe is one thing that should never be found under your bed. Number two is mirrors. <laughs> I made a lot of videos about mirrors. Mirrors re reflect a lot about negative energy. It is a great disturbance to sleep and dream. 
And when you leave mirrors under your bed, you have given spiritual world a perfect tool for total surveillance. Because actually, devil is not omnipotent, omniscience, omnipresent. He is only omnipotent information. And that is why devil, through his agents, wishes and wizard and other malovian forces, try as much as possible to monitor you so that when they know when one progress or the other is coming they know how to hinder it for example they know that suddenly salary has been paid you have money they knock one of your child with one sickness you start running up and down and spend that money or suddenly you will see your car breaking down that is because you have left a loophole for you to be monitored and keeping mirror under your bed is a serious avenue for you to give spiritual word an open invitation to come and monitor you and then be able to hinder your progress because actually the devil only comes to kill steal and destroy it's only Christ that have come that we might have life and have it abundantly and that is why they go about snooping around trying to get information that will destroy you so don't use your hand to release such information by keeping mirror under your bed so number three is photos of deceased people you know that we are tempted to keep the photos of our diseased relative especially those people that is so dear to our heart and then we now tempted to make under the bed to become a storehouse for those pictures especially the big flames that was used maybe during burial or other things and then maybe because of space we think that the best place to store it is under the bed please don't try it in fact if it is possible try and burn all those photos let it no longer be remembered because they have died and gone and gone forever but if you must keep it don't keep it under your bed because one way or the other you are inviting the spirits of death that may destruct your good dreams and that is where you begin to see those dead people even in your dream and the one word that i don't have made videos about dead lady visiting you in your dream some of them are not bad but it will distort the right information channel of information that your guardian angel that god himself i made video about spiritual benefit of sleep when you are sleeping god starts becoming active in your life to work that's why god has given us night to sleep now you the dream come as a multitude of business by putting that pictures there because whatever you have under your bed have overwhelming influence that's why one word or the other when i i give you some recipe in this channel i say put it under your bed because we know that that thing being under your bed has serious impact into your life so likewise the photos of diseased people you live under your bed has serious impact in your life and can dislock and disconnect the right flow of information divine knowledge would have gotten while you are asleep and you begin to get the wrong information and it becomes mission to nowhere then number four is books and work materials keeping work related materials maybe you are a fine artist and you are drawing some things or you are a architect you are drawing, drawing the plans of the house you are studying for your master's phd or whatever work and then you decide maybe put it under the bed so that you can easily uh, put hand there and bring it when you wake up in the midnight to study doing that also brings negative energy causes restlessness causes stress on you because as it is under your bed one word that is influencing and distorting your sleep thereby making it impossible for you to get divine information sometimes divine information is not all about even dreams most of the times i gave i get my information as open voice so sometimes when i'm waking up i have prayed for something maybe my midnight prayer in the night that i need information as i'm waking up i will start hearing it audibly know that every book is backed by spirit i know one particular man very intelligent mathematician in our place that went and read a book called seven books of moses and he ran mad books are backed by spirits now when you leave certain books especially the one that is related to work material not even a bible bible is the best book that should be under your bed or any other spiritual book that resonates with you 
is there, what you are bringing into manifestation is the spirit that is backing that book. And obviously, the spirit that is backing it may not be the positive spirit and it will start having overwhelming influence in you and distort your life, your rest and positive energy that is flowing in your life. And I have said it time with your number, the best is have nothing under your bed. But because of space, if you must have avoid this item items the last but not the least is food and beverages storing foods under your bed especially something like yam coco yam all this food that you must cut in order for you to use rice is even better and then can also bring lots and lots of negative energies distort your sleep and contribute to financial losses in your life don't ever store any form of food item under your bed but if you must store store those ones that possess some overwhelming positive energies like sugar like rice like turmeric garlic and so on but certain beverages certain food item such as those ones that you must use sharp object to cut should not be found under your bed and in order to give jara to this particular video no sharp, sharp object is meant to be found under your bed except spiritual sharp object you are used to do spiritual recipe for example somebody is after your life you get a new knife use it to pray that god will enable you to destroy that person especially when the person always comes to your dream to manifest him or herself that is when you should put sharp object like a knife under your pillow and under your bed and by God's grace you will see that that person will no longer be able to overcome you when it comes to attack you in the dream you become an overcomer yourself i believe that somebody has actually found value if you have please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so hit the bell notification so as to get my next upload comment on this video share this video and share it to everyone i shall be helping a lot of people as to do so may god bless you know you cause it to ride upon the high place of this is still your lady jenny saying